Teacher Talk and Sports, what it does, what it do, how we live it. Now, yesterday, I had off from work as I had a snow day, and today, I actually had a delayed opening my school because, I mean, the roads weren't that bad, but it was cold, well below freezing temperatures. Uh, when I woke up this morning, it might have been 13 or 14 degrees, probably got up to maybe 22 uh, so due to the cold weather, we had a delayed opening. Well, that 13, 14 degrees was nothing compared to the coldness that was experienced at the Chiefs-Dolphins playoff game. And, you know, when you're in that extreme weather for such a long time, some not so good things could happen. Uh, this is via Michael David Smith of Pro Football Talk. Seven fans at Chiefs game taken to hospital for hypothermia three for frostbite. It was a crazy weather weekend in the pro football playoff world. We know the Bills game got the later game because of crazy amounts of snow that dropped in Buffalo, they're actually expecting another storm, but not on Sunday. I think it's supposed to end on uh, tomorrow. Uh, but article goes on to mention that the Kansas City Fire Department told KMBC 9 that it received 69 calls for service at Arrowhead Stadium on Saturday, about half of which were related to hypothermia. Of course, hypothermia is basically... Uh, when your body can't warm it up fast enough, um, you know, compared to the extreme cold weather, officials took 15 people to the hospital, including seven for hypothermia and three for frostbite. Uh, I guess the other people that had calls uh, for service were treated at the stadium with a kickoff temperature of negative four degrees and wind chills that reached negative 30. It was one of the coldest games in NFL history. The packed Arrowhead Stadium had more than 70,000 fans braving the cold. Mentions how the NFL delay games for dangerous conditions such as the Buffalo game pushed back a day, but the league does not consider cold weather alone to be enough to delay a game, but at some point, it's simply too cold to be safe. Um, very true. We know the players have their seated benches. You might have seen players at the game huddling up uh, next to the large heaters on the sidelines. Um, so they have ways to at least keep a little warmer. We know the fans aren't going to have the seated benches in the stands and let's face it, it doesn't matter what the temperature is we know fan is short for fanatic fans are going to show up if the game is on brave the elements and you know unfortunately things like these can happen you know it's so cold we've all seen the picture of patrick mahomes cracked helmet from the game which the helmet company has come out and said that's good that that happened um you know rather take the force on the helmet than his head and we saw some crazy fans including this Dolphins fan man you traveled I don't know if you traveled from Miami but you went to the game in that weather tried to brave it out tried to seem tough only to see your team lose 26 to 9 and never really seemingly had a chance throughout much of the game and there were Chiefs fans as well that um, you know, dressed with their shirts off in the stands. Um, I get being crazy fans, fanatic, yes. But, I mean, isn't there a way to show your fandom to the team without going to extreme measures in that, in weather that is really unsuitable for people's health? Uh, especially to sit around for three, three-plus hours you know, it's not like you're even getting up, moving around. Of course, you'll still be cold if you're doing that. Uh, but you're mostly sitting in your seat, and that cold is just on top of you throughout the game. You know, luckily, we didn't hear anything worse, such as deaths from the game. Uh, but it's definitely not surprising that there was hypothermia and frostbite involved in the game you wonder what would happen in buffalo we saw pictures of the seats um with that obscene amount of snow um that caused the game to be delayed um you wonder how safe that would have been for the fans as well i, I think i heard about some fans um 
hypothermia frostbite from shoveling for that Bills game. And what did they get, $20 an hour? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, it doesn't matter how desperate I am for money. I would not shovel that amount of snow for $20 an hour. But I'm sure they found plenty of fans who were willing to do it. Anyhow, do you think it's ever too cold for them to not play an NFL game? Um, you know, we'll see fans say, you know, that's perfect weather elements for football. Yeah, it's fun to see on the screen, uh, you know, players' breath being seen. And uh, awesome sight to see snow games. Uh, the ice ball is one of the most famous games of all time and that happened before i was born but nonetheless um you know just not safe to be around just hanging out outside when wind chills reach negative 30. anyhow don't forget to subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe like the video share the video hit the button notifications i'm out